Police in Indiana say Darren Dion Van confessed to seven murders. Uh, he was a real friendly person. That's where all this is a shock to me. His ex-wife doesn't believe it. She doesn't want her identity revealed. We do know she lives in Williamson County. In a phone interview, she describes Van as friendly, a loner who always kept a job and stayed away from alcohol and drugs. I never know him to be that violent, ever, ever. In 2008, when the couple had separated, Austin police arrested Van for raping a woman in this northeast Austin apartment complex. DNA linked him to the crime, and he took a plea bargain to spend only five years in prison for the lesser offense of sexual assault. Mindy Montford is a criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor for the Travis County District Attorney's Office. She did not work this case, but she has worked sexual assault cases on both sides and says oftentimes a plea deal is sought to avoid an acquittal. So it's real easy for us now to say, well, it was only a five-year sentence. But at the same time, that prosecutor may have thought that was a pretty good deal based on what the evidence was he or she had at the time. Van got out of prison in 2013. That's when police say he left Texas and moved to Indiana. It's always every prosecutor's fear when they make a plea recommendation and any judge's fear when they sign off on a plea recommendation that something like this may happen or it could happen again. And in this situation, it wasn't a probation. It wasn't a, you know, reduced to a misdemeanor. It was still a sexual assault. He was still going to have to register as a sex offender and he went to prison. Van's ex-wife says she hasn't talked to him since before he went to prison. She says they separated in 2000 and divorced in 2011. This is all unbelievable to me. This is a shocker, a total shock. Austin police told us today in a situation like this, they will look at the time frame a suspect lived in Austin and compare the facts to see if any connection can be made with any current cold cases. They currently have 167 cold cases and say any tip could help solve them.